Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. Today I'm going to be reviewing the IIPRM Chrome extension for ChatGPT. It is becoming increasingly popular with over 20,000 active users. And once you install this, you get to see this pretty cool looking dashboard. And what it is, it's a suite of SEO, marketing, advertising and copywriting prompts that are that are self-fulfilling meaning that you don't have to input anything like very little input should be coming from you and in this case it's kind of a black box so behind every prompt there is a prompt or a series of prompts that you do not see at the first glance it's looking very good you have your keyword strategy prompts your optimizing business profiles prompts outranking one click blog post audit existing content and I the first time I checked it out was a few weeks ago and they didn't have nowhere near uh, this many prompts as they have right now and you can download downvote and upvote different prompts you can see their popularity but what I wanted to do I wanted to uh, give an objective view on some of these prompts since this is a story where I have uh, mixed feelings on the one hand it is quite amazing and I would like to congratulate the team for coming up with this. Uh, for the newbie, for the beginner, it's very user friendly. You just execute on the prompt and you basically um, enjoy the outcome. But for the curious minds like myself, I don't like black boxes at all. So I would love to see the exact prompts they're using. And many of these prompts you have to take at face value. So for example, this prompt here, which promises you to find the keyword volume, difficulty and intent. And I got very curious with this prompt and basically let's uh, take something that we can double check. Let's use our canned dogs eat bananas as an example. We will press continue. And what we got in return was the volume is low to moderate, difficulty is low and intent informational. And let's double check this with one of the more popular keyword research tools, uh, Ahrefs. And for those of you who don't know, Ahrefs have a free keyword generator, which you can use. So let's just double check this real quick. And we can see that Can Dogs Eat Bananas is an extremely high volume search, uh, clocking over 120,000 search queries. It's uh, of moderate keyword difficulty, which is 35. And I would agree on the informational intent of the keyword search, but the volume and the difficulty is obviously very incorrect. Let's test something else. I wanted to test this outrank article prompt because it is one of the more popular ones. It's been viewed 27,000 times, it has many likes, and it basically tells you to insert the URL and it will try and write something that is capable of outranking the article. And let's use the same example and the same keyword. Let's look at some of the more Popular websites. Uh, this is one of these articles, Can Dog Seed Bananas. Uh, we can see that the H2s are Are bananas good for dogs? When are bananas bad for dogs? How to serve bananas for dogs? So let's try and untrank this one here. So we'll copy the URL. And this is the only variable that needs to be inserted. And I've actually tested this behind the scenes and this iteration of ChatGPT does not go online. So it doesn't actually scan the content of the URL, but it looks at the URL title. So since it can see that this talks about candoxid bananas, it will produce the results regardless. So if I were to have another domain which ended with can dog seed bananas i would still get the same result basically and i've already recorded a few videos on outlining and i use 
a different process. I basically go through every high performing article and copy their H2s. Then there are certain processes in place to mix them all together. But here we can see that this is writing a very generic article. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, I was I was expecting it to create an article based on the outline and it just produced a very poor result. So I would not advise you to use this outranking prompt if you want to actually outrank the article. So next, and I don't mean this as a critique, I still think that this is important, that this is a very good Chrome extension and I would invite everyone to use it. Another prompt that uh, caught my eye was the keyword cluster, which is again extremely popular. And the reason I'm talking about keywords, uh, keyword clustering is that there are very few tools on the market that do keyword clustering anywhere close to being usable. And I myself end up time and time again clustering the keywords manually. So let's try this out. And I would need to get a cluster somewhere, hang on. So this is a small keyword list connected to working at home and I will be pasting it into this field. Let's try to find keyword clusters. And right now it's getting very broad categories. Like for example, I have the typing pools at making money online, but I have typing works, for example, under jobs and employment as well. So two very similar words, typing works and typing pools jobs, which are being attributed to different clusters. So let's check something else. Topical authority, create a table with article ideas to help you build topical authority in one specific keyword. Okay, let's test it out. So this seems to be very popular as well. And what if I wanted to talk about Jasper AI? Okay. Jasper for SEO, Jasper case study, Jasper versus competitors, Jasper and constant marketing. Jasper pricing. Okay. And so actually it's a, I wouldn't say it is by no, well, it is by no means sufficient to create topical authority, but it is a nice first step. Uh, let's see if we can, um, navigate the chat GPT to do what we want. Create a list of subtopics for the above titles in a two col column table. Let's see what happens. So this is more along the lines of what I would have expected in the first place. So if you, the creators of this prompt are listening, I would advise you to insert this prompt or a similar prompt inside of the prompt string. So I would have liked to split these clusters into subtopics. And again, this is not sufficient to gain topical authority, but it's a nice start. Let's test something else. Uh, just anything that cut, catches my eye, keyword strategy. Let's look at the most top votes. These are the top votes. Create a content keyword strategy and SEO content plan for one keyword. Okay, so let's use the same example, which is jasper.ai. And so far I don't like how these are not long tail enough. Jasper predictive analysis and okay, so not a lot. If I press continue, would it? Mm, AI in healthcare, yeah, and it's going slightly south. Jasper Finance. Okay, let's stop generating and let's see since a chat GPT is not a viable keyword research tool. And uh, if anyone tells you otherwise, they are lying since Jasper AI is not connected to any of the APIs, uh, which is Google or Ahrefs or anything else. So they are not able to produce 
keywords, search volumes, and create and assess difficulty in any way, shape or form. But what I want to do is to double check if these suggestions have any meat to them. So I'll go to one of the free keyword tools that I have showed you before, which is Ahrefs Keyword Generator. And let's just go for Jasper AI. So this is keyword difficulty of 40, Jasper AI NLP. Okay, no search volume. Uh, this could mean two things. It is either a zero volume keyword or mm, nobody searches Jasper NLP, Jasper AI chatbot. Same story. So right now it looks like these are made up terms. And let me double check with keywords everywhere because what I found is that keywords everywhere are better when it comes to zero search volume or very low competition keywords. It actually gives you volume for some of the keywords that Ahrefs does not. So these three has returned zero volume uh, with Ahrefs. Let's check for with keywords everywhere and again. So according to these two, nobody searches this. What about good old Google? Jasper AI NLP and we'll use it in brackets to see if anyone uses this exact exact phrase. And we have four results, which is Jasper AI NLP. No, not really. So this is what I'm saying. ChatGPT cannot be used uh, as a keyword research tool. It can give you inspiration. And I actually like another uh, technique. So if I were to go generate a list of 25 most popular questions about Jasper AI. And this prompt will be in our ChatGPT prompt library, which is available to Patreons. And I, so if I use this, I get something that is very similar to how a human would search. So I can bet you anything that uh, what is Jasper AI and how does Jasper AI work? And what is the cost of Jasper AI are the search terms that are actually being searched online. And let's just check how does Jasper AI work. And here we can see that not only this is 50 searches per month, and but this is an extremely high CPC keyword. So yeah, guys, um, I think all in all, uh, this is a very good Chrome extension. This gives you a lot of different opportunities. Um, be critical. So if you get something like insert your URL here and I will outrank this URL, this is rubbish, at least for now. Uh, this plugin here doesn't go online. It doesn't scan the content. Whenever there are talks about keyword strategies or keyword ideas, be mindful that uh, this is not a substitute for robust keyword research software and tools. And you would need to double check every suggestion against the actual search volume. And again, if you are trying to create outlines, I still prefer the good old manual way. And I have a few videos about how my outlining works and which Chrome extensions I use to create perfect outlines. And yeah, hopefully this review has been helpful. I'll see you next time.